welcome dear friends now we are going through uh, our demonstration session a live demonstration session uh, learning the methods to create a self grading uh, uh, assessment that is through multiple choice questions in uh, Microsoft teams that we say the quiz uh, that is called the quiz and for that you need to click the Microsoft teams button over here you can see Microsoft teams you have to click and uh, uh, at the icon you can click or either you can even go from the program menu after this this is how the window opens and after the op window opens then simply you go to the assignment you click it out you click at the assignment and after this it will tell uh, give you a list of a class and whatever the class you want to go with and you simply can click it out and click next after that you will get to a, a list of information related to assignments for example and that may be related to as already assigned one or drafts ones as well and over here i want to, okay for the reason that we are going to create a quiz that is uh, we have to click here at create and then go to quiz after clicking it out this window will op appear after that if you are going to create a new one then simply create a new form after clicking a new form a browser will open provided that you have not logged into your browser then it will ask you to log in once after you log in this window will appear and out of this you have to click at uh, this particular highlighted uh, button cre okay, create a new form after this simply untitled form is here you have to give a title to this form so the title of this quiz is given over here and even we can make a description over here and uh, uh, in order to add questions we have to click here and uh, after this we have to go to choice click it out and now this window will appear and we have to go on filling the questions this is how a question can be made and uh, typed and answer can be placed here if you want to add another option simply you can add an option over here and you can make your option you can type it out for the possible answer for mcq otherwise simply we if we don't need we can even delete it in order to make a new question you have to add new we have to click out over here we have to click out over here in this add new button and again you click at multiple choice so dear friends i have created five questions over here already and you can simply see the questions are typed and they have been written over here and uh, in the same way uh, again if we want to add more questions simply we need to click add new however in these particular questions uh, uh, if th more than one answers will be possible then we have to click multiple answers otherwise we don't need to click it out and if the student need to uh, uh, if the students need to submit uh, complete this answer this response then we have to click it to required to the green side such that only after completing that only after selecting all the answers then only the particular a student can submit us the answer for example let us see over here uh, let us make in this particular case let us keep, keep it required in this also let us keep it uh, after clicking it it comes uh, over here and after clicking it it comes over here and after clicking it again it comes over here the green one after clicking it out it comes over here this is how all questions are required to be done and dear friends this forms gets automatically saved that we can go to teams again and we can use it but however i want to bring you to some others uh, another sample as well this is knowledge test 9 by hrd this was made for 10 points another option i want to deal with this there are 10 questions altogether here 10 mcqs and let me tell you one feature over here so out of this once you click a particular question area then uh, there is an option you see to delete the option or to make a feedback message to the respondent or simply to click which one is the correct answer for example if bronze is if this is the correct answer then you have to click this correct answer or if gold is an uh, correct answer over here you will click here and this is how what we can make is that the teachers while making the assignment they can select the correct answer themselves but that won't be visible to the students so this is how uh, correct answers correct answers this is how you can see uh, this is how the correct answers can be visible 
to the students and uh, this is uh, only after they submit the form. So, that is what you can see over here tick mark over here everywhere means what we can understand is uh, what we have to understand is uh, that is the correct answer and uh, students right after submitting submission right after submission they can see it out what is wrong what is right for them uh, in the particular answer that they have done. So, this form gets automatically saved and let us move back to auto grading system how the assessment the computer the system does automatically however at first uh, let us see how we can attach this particular just created newly created this uh, multiple choice question into the quiz set let us have a look at it for this again you have to go to assignments you have to click it out and then again the same list of the classes will appear for example this uh, the batch that I had selected has come and again go to create and then simply go to quiz and then what you can do is that you will it will appear as a list over here quiz measurement HRD this is what I just created it is in the second one second part then uh, uh, click this next and then see the window uh, this is automatically uploaded being uploaded over here yes this has been uploaded over here and the title is already as per the particular name that was given in the form and uh, we can change the due date and everything over here for example i want to change it to this date and uh, time is over there uh, this class set uh, and the class set is over here mentioned class it is mentioned over here and all students of this set this is done and here are three options discard save and assign if you want to discard and no more bring this particular assessment into use you can click discard otherwise if you want to use it for future then you can click save otherwise you simply if you want to assign you can click assign so let me assign for now this particular question to the students okay and this is how assigning a quiz hap can be done to the students and now now again click to assignments and this will appear and uh, I want to see the automatically graded uh, mechanism how uh, MCQs will be automatically graded I want to see over here the assigned one we can see and more past ones uh, that if whatever were assigned over here we it comes here in the form of a list okay uh, for auto grading system I have again clicked the assignment and I have chosen the batch over here uh, in the same batch I have gone and and over here knowledge test by HRD I have clicked this uh, I want to click this after clicking this a uh, big window uh, with the details of students whether they have submitted or not will also be there so we can see over here what we can find is here first there is the name of students and then the status turned in means they have submitted and feedback means if any feedback is given to them by the teacher uh, that can be uh, kept here and e score out of 10 here over here you can see out of 10 over here over here out of 10 how much the student had has got e scored in this particular column there we can see here dash means no attempt or the unsubmitted work the student has seen but not submitted can also be there uh, or not turn in means not submitted uh, not turn in means the student has not clicked and viewed means the student has seen but uh, not submitted this is how also we can go to the particular student who has already accessed but did not attempt this test so this is how we can understand and in order to uh, keep it as a grading system so simply we need to export to excel we have to click it out here export to excel once we cl click once we click now you can see the particular file is being downloaded over and here in the downloads folder we can see the grades in excel file format here you can see just double click it and uh, open the file you will see the list and details of students as such the first name of the student is here all right the last name is here and email address of the student is here and similarly knowledge how much uh, it, it depends uh, knowledge test by hrd this is what the name of the test was and uh, points means this is the score this is how how much the particular student has scored 
can be visible here this is how automatically uh, i want to show you again that this is this was the form this was the quiz from which the test was assigned to the students this is the same title over here you can see in which correct answer were also chosen over here and this is how ultimately right after submitting the student also could see the correct answer once they have submitted